Hey guys, what is up? I'm Christopher, and today I'm bringing you guys a uh, Jacksonville Jaguars Connected Careers Commentary. And uh, sorry if I'm going to talk kind of quiet for this episode. Uh, it's pretty laid up and I can't sleep, so I thought I might as well play some uh, Connected Careers and make a video for y'all. So we just uh, wrapping up preseason here. And uh, I'll show you our final roster and how everyone's developed in the preseason and whatnot. Well, over the off season, I should say. So quarterback Blaine Giles is our only one. We got rid of Blaine Gabbert for Doug, the, uh, for Doug Martin, 86 overall, 98 overall. Maurice Jones Drew. He never seems to um, get past 98 because each year he drops down to 97. Then all of his uh, boosts boost him back up to 98. So Greg Jones, 91. Dez, who we acquired in the off season because we had a big off season year. Um, Justin Blackman, 83. Robinson, 80. And our third wide receiver, Kendron Richardson. Tight end, Selly, 83. Left guard, Eugene Moore, 89. Left guard, Aaron DePriest and Clint Bowling. Center, Sergey Wainwright. Dakota Foreman. Right tackle, Jeff Ota. Left end, Jeremy Mincy. And, oh, I forgot to go through our, our new rookie, Austin McDonald. Defensive tackle, uh, add him, and uh, Keenan Howard is our second. Daryl Smith still with us. Tanner Bailey, 91, uh, 83 overall. Um, Russell Allen, 85 overall. Darrell Rivas and Drake Patrick, 78 and 94. Um, starting will be Steven Barker this year and Dewan Landry alright so uh, that's our final lineup and uh, as you could tell we have an excess amount of uh, go to the depth chart real quick just make sure everything's all set Blaine Giles yep halfback Jones Drew Doug yep 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 um, as you can tell we have an excess amount of uh, Guard. See, we have left guard here, but we have sitting on the bench Clint Bowling, who's 82 overall. Um, he could play right guard at 82 overall, but Dakota Foreman has uh, quick or superstar, I don't remember. But he will develop uh, fairly quickly. And as you can see here, we have not very good uh, defensive tackles. So I'm going to make a trade for a uh, defensive tackle that should uh, help help our team out a lot just making sure everyone's good alright we are all set Mike Thomas Mike Thomas it's a kicker and our long snapper is the priest okay cool so I'm going to make a quick trade for you guys <clears throat> so uh, what you want to do is you want to find teams that are interested in uh, the player that you're trying to sell so this is like a tips for you guys. If you guys trying to make uh, good trades, Clint Bowling. Not many teams want him. I already checked at the teams that wanted him. Oakland Raiders. They wanted him. Now, you got to go check. If you go to their current left guard position, it's probably really bad, and that's an easy way to find out. Well, it's less than uh, what you're offering them. Now, another team who has a good... Uh, they have a good defensive tackle that I need they need a right outside linebacker so I'm gonna try to make a trade for this outside linebacker and then initially try to get him um, trade trade this light linebacker for the defensive tackle that I would need and uh, you like you probably like oh wow this is going way out of your way for him well, once you see who I'm getting, it's not really way out of your way at all. So, they should accept that. Yep, they accepted uh, Thomas Howard for Clint Bowling, a fourth and a fifth. So, uh, that's a pretty fair trade, to be honest with you. He's prime age, so not many teams want him. But the the teams that the team that wants him has a really good player that I need. So, uh, where is he? Thomas Howard, right here. 86 overall right outside linebacker. I mean, we could keep him, but... Uh, we have a young, Russell Allen's younger, and uh, 
Russell Allen is just better in my eyes. Now the Bills are pretty interested in him. So I'm to show you what we're going to give up. May seem like a lot, but when you look when you I'll show you. And you guys will see why it's going to be worth it. And no, it's not going to be Mario w Williams. It's going to be defensive tackle. That actually plays defensive tackle. Give him next year's second round. And they are going to give me their second best player. Marcel Darius <clears throat> from Alabama. 331 pounds, 6'3". He's 90 overall, and he's only 24 years old. So he's going to be a player for the future for us. So Thomas Howard, first and second for Marcel Darius. I think it's going to be a huge trade for us and uh, definitely going to uh, impact the team a lot. Now they accepted that. We'll go to the depth chart and throw him in there real quick. Now I haven't even looked at like any of his stats or anything yet. I just seen that he was beasting. We're going to switch him with Mosley. What are you doing here? Mosley with him. Are you, are you going to switch positions? Um Okay, Marcel Darius. No, not with Keenan Howard. Uh, give me Keenan Howard back up here, and we'll put. I guess we can put him as third string. Why not? Throw him in there. So, boom! We've instantly solved our defensive tackle issue, and uh, our team's looking stellar. I'm just gonna take a quick peek. If uh, what his development is at, um, let me just roll on down to defensive tackles. Darius, just take a quick peek. He is quick development. He's not a superstar yet. So, um, oh, and I guess what I can do since we have two young that are going to be good. One is already beast, and one is going to be good. Um, defensive tackles, I can do, uh, I can buy a defensive tackle XP boost, um, and that we should be set for, oh, defensive tackle contract, where's the XP boost for, defensive tackle XP boost, 10 grand, sure thing, why not, I got the money, I got the money for it, or the XP or whatever you need. So there we go, boys. We solved. We had too many guards. Um, evened our guards out. So now at, um, we have all our young and beast guards. And uh, we had acquired a new um, defensive tackle that's going to be with us for a long, long time. He's only 24 years old, 90 overall. Um, two years, two or three years, he'll be 99 overall. I guarantee it. So... We're only gonna probably gonna get a few games in here. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get a few games in practice. We're gonna be playing against the Packers Monday Night Football. Let's go! All right, boys, let's start the year off strong against the Packers. And um, our offense, our whole team's looking. It's finally looking like a, like a good team now. Like I I have faith within this team. Last year, I didn't have faith that we were going to win the Super Bowl. I mean, the divisional playoffs, I thought we were going to win for sure. When we seen the Patriots, I was like, no way, man. We can't beat the Patriots. And if you guys haven't noticed, um, I've upgraded. We're a C prestige now. And we ended up losing that game. So we ended up getting 500 team total yards. But mm, we just ended up, uh, we lost that game. It was against the Packers, though. Packers are good. It's going to be really hard for them. It's going to take a long, <laughs> lot of years for them to drop down and to be a bad team. So, luckily, we didn't have to play them in the finals, in the Super Bowl. See, look, we put up 24 points, but can't stop Aaron Rodgers. Um, 34 to 20, or, yeah, tw 38 to 24 was the final. One turnover. They see, they had no turnovers. It killed us. But we did we we played good against them. I'm uh, kind of disappointed, but whatever. 
Aaron Rodgers, three TDs, no interceptions. But look at that. Blaine Giles, three TDs, no one interception. Not bad. I like that. If he plays like that every game, I'm, that's a good game for me. They just played better. Jones Drew with the fumble. Pretty rare. I don't Only 51 yards on 18 carries. He got shut down. And the fumble kind of hurt us. Uh, Receiving-wise, though, he got a... 38 yards. Selly got the touchdown. Kendron Richardson got a touchdown. He's our slot receiver, but he seems to come up big a lot. Get a lot of yards. Justin Blackman, 68. Des Bryant didn't do too much, but that's okay. Des Bryant's uh, to relieve the pressure off of them, you know what I mean? Their number one corner will line up with Des, so it's going to be tough. Tanner Bailey with the most uh, tackles. Get sacks. No sacks. It's all right. No interceptions, so Green Bay's got a they got a decent line. I mean, whatever. It's starting the year off kind of slow. Uh, all right, there's your there's your game for you, boys. First game against the Packs. Monday Night Football. Kind of get upset, but whatever. <clears throat> not not. Don't worry about it. We're playing the. Uh, Dolphins who have the number one defensive rank so uh, we can beat them though our offense is better defense is 83 overall we're looking like a good team now so hopefully we get this W mm, if not we're gonna have to make some type of 500 team <laughs> another 500 team uh, total yards We need to get that running game involved, though. If we don't get that running game involved, we're not going to be the team we normally are. And we got a lot of rookies on our team starting, so we ended up winning that game. Forced four takeaways. Oh, we got to do some negotiations, and I do not want to mess with those players. Those are the players we need for the future. All right, so week two, let's go look at... Uh, we ended up winning 30 to 25. We let them put up 25 points against us, but as long as we came up with the win. Oh, no turnovers. That's what I like to see. Blaine Giles developing from his rookie. No, no interceptions. Ryan Tannehill still threw an interception, but we I think we have the better. I think we have the one, probably one of the best D's in the league. Uh, what was that? Oh, 233 yards and a touchdown for Giles. Jones drew 95 yards, two touchdowns. Doug Martin got touchdown as well. Uh, we really do use that backup court uh, halfback a lot, like a lot. We use him, so it's, it's good to have Doug Martin in there. Look at this, Sally. He's breaking out already. One touchdown, 56 yards. Kendron Richardson with 71 yard game. Justin Blackman with a few carry catches, and as well as Des Bryant with 50 yards. Defense. Tanner Bailey once again getting uh, seven tackles let's get the sacks Jeremy Mincy with uh, one sack oh two interceptions Tanner Bailey picking that ball off and Steven Barker the rookie out of Pittsburgh free safety getting it anyone take it to the house nope but we do have uh, forced fumbles Tanner Bailey also forcing a fumble getting a pick and forcing a fumble very nice very nice Kicking. Ooh, he drained a 57 yarder. Uh, punts, average 50 yards. That's pretty, pretty good. And that's basically the game for us. Not bad. Uh, second game. Let's uh, let's do some negotiations here from the contract signing. Des Bryant and Russell Allen. I will sign these guys uh, what they want. They want he wants three point nine a year. I'll give him three point I'll give him three point six for four years. Let's see he uh He's a good yeah, he, he oh he has high interest in the team too, so he's not gonna Now Des Bryant wants a new contract. Wants five years for five point five mil. Give him five point five mil for five years. He's young. And he's gonna get better. So I think five years will be when he starts to uh, start decreasing, like start losing value. So playing uh, 
rivals the Titans, who are 2-0 and right now, probably leading uh, the division. Hopping over to week four. It's week four already? Oh, yeah, this is week three. Never mind. Yeah, we're just going through week four. So, hopefully, we're going to try to get to uh, the trade deadline, week six or seven. And then, uh, you guys can comment if you guys want to see any big trades, but I like the way our team is. And I'll probably do some developments over um, next time you s next video. All my players will be developed and ready to go. They accepted the contract. I'm ready to get back on the field. Perfect. I didn't even check if we won or not. All right. Let's see. Let's just see how we did. And we won. 17 to 14. Defense shutting them down. Defense, t t defense, and um, here's a quick look at the overview. We had two turnovers though, not too good, not too good, but yeah, Jake Locker um, outplayed Blaine Giles, I guess today. 123 yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. So rough day for Giles. So, but good thing we have good running backs. Ooh. Rough day for Maurice Jones dude Drew as well with two fumbles, only 4.2 uh, yards per carry, which is not good for him. Receiving wise, Maurice Jones Drew 37 yards. Selly has caught in a touchdown pass a game. Very nice. He's he's breaking out. Justin Blackman with 16. Kendron Richardson with uh, 29 yards, and Des Bryant with uh, 18 yards. Tough to get a good. Uh, receiving game going if your quarterback's not throwing the ball to you so defense stepped up Tanner Bailey looking like our top uh, tackler not missing much not missing many tackles we got two sacks Jeremy Mincy and Marcel Darius that is why we got you in there you got four tackles but one of them was a sack which we needed one pick by the newly signed Russell Allen and then uh Forced fumbles. Anyone force any fumbles? No forced fumbles. So we kind of got away with this game. Uh, we didn't play good at all. Like seriously, we didn't. We had an all. Oh, Mike Thomas. There you go. Mike Thomas took one. 55-yard punt return to the house, saving the day. Oh my. We would have lost this game if it wasn't for Mike Thomas. So you always got to thank those special team players. They're not out there doing. They're, they do they do a good job your team wins so uh, we're playing another division uh, team the uh, Texans who are not looking like their offensive ranks and defensive rank are not looking too well so far this year so we'll quickly go into this go into week five. Oh, we got some milestone goals for the team Alrighty, uh huh. So, oh, we got some more negotiations. Three team passing touchdowns, force four takeaways, allow 200 yards or less, allow 250 yards or less. All right. Um. Very nicely done. Um, I'm not even. I didn't even check if we won or not, but uh. Let's see, and we killed them. We destroyed them. We annihilated them. Forty-seven to seven. Wow. We they got 183 yards of total offense on us. We just destroyed them. They had no turnovers for us. We five turnovers for the other team. Uh, we just destroyed the Texans this game, proving that we're dominant. Look at this. 251 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions for uh, Blaine Giles, and we. Didn't get sacked, which is nice. Rushing Jones Drew. One, he's fumbling it. Why are you fumbling it? You never you fumble once a year, maybe. Last year he fumbled it once a year. What he's got four fumbles already? Come on. Whatever. I think he. We must have recovered it because they had no uh, turnovers. So uh, rushing touchdown. We had uh, one, 84 yards. Blaine Giles scrambling a bit. Doug Martin getting a few handoffs. Receiving wise, here we go. Who got the big gate? Des Bryant with 83 yards. Justin Blackman with 47 yards. Jones Drew with a touchdown and 30 yards. It's 30 yards after a carry. It could have been a screen pass. Mercedes Lewis, 
Kendron Richardson with a touchdown. The full Greg Jones with two touchdowns on the night. That's pretty sweet. And Selly only getting one catch. So uh, let's go to the tackles. Whew. Jeremy Mincy, eight tackles. Three of them were sacks. Three sacks for Mincy. One for Darius. One for Keenan Howard, the kid. Keenan, the kid. Let's go to interceptions. Whew. Three interceptions as well. Uh, Russell Allen with one. Darrell Revis finally getting his first interception as a Jaguar. And Dewan Landry, the safety. Anyone take it to the house? No, 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 no. All right, what do we got? Fumbles. Forced fumbles. Oh, Darrell Revis forcing a fumble. Darius Jenkins with the blocked field goal. He's just like he's just like Tanner Bailey last year. He's a good middle linebacker blocking kicks. Clint Session, what was he doing? Oh, he blocked a kick too. What the hell? Two blocked kicks. Clint Session, special teams. We had the best special teams in the league. Tanner Bailey forced a fumble. And he took it for uh, 35 yards before getting tackled. Very nice. And there's some Scobster. Brian Anger punting it away. Kick return, punt return. Nope. Whatever. We just wrecked them, so. That's going to be it for now, guys. Week 5 we're at right now. Uh, made a big trade for Marcel Darius. So that's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to do some... Uh, negotiating the contracts so uh, we'll get uh, mid-season in next episode guys and uh, possibly some trades so don't miss out on that alright I'm Crisper and I'm out peace <laughs>